Chess friends, welcome to our today's chess video, in this game I played with 4 grandmasters, that was an amazing game, game rule is very simple, if a GM play a wrong move, but if another GM finds best move then the computer will choose the best move, and the game will continue like this, so let's go, I started with d4, we have knight to f6, I played c4, some players want to play e6, d4, Hikaru wants king's Indian setup, but we have c5 by Magnus, so, d5, d6, knight goes to c3, we have e5, g3, bishop to e7, bishop g2. You can play e4, bishop here and knight to g3, they choose to play castle, because of this small center structure, you can move back your knight to play f5, and get a kingside pawn activity, I played e4, they moved back their knight, knight to c3, they played f4 as my idea, I played h4, my intention is clear to push the kingside pawns to attack their king, one grandmaster wants to take the pawn and another wants to develop his knight, but Hikaru plays best move, h6, we have pawn takes, bishop takes f5, knight back to h2, my idea is clear to play g4, we have knight d7, queen e2, a6 by them, g4, bishop back to h7, I played g5, here Ian wants to play bishop to f5 but that's not even the good move, let me show you why, if bishop f5 happen, then bishop to e4, try to seizing the light square and the bishop, so after bishop takes, knight takes, pawn takes, and takes, and that's it, it apostrophe s plus 6 position, the rook have an open file, queen will arrive there to seize the h file, and the g pawn will create problems for black. That's why Ian isn't best as Magnus, because he is not subscribed Stockfish channel yet, here Magnus played best move pawn takes, takes, here I want to play bishop here to eliminate this bishop, rook will enjoy the open file, queen will arrive there, this is the main strategy, so, they played bishop takes g5, bishop to g3, I want to give a check to black, move your knight to attack the bishop, queen here to pressure this, they choose to play bishop takes bishop, I played bishop e6 check first, king to h8, rook takes c1, here some grandmasters want to play knight f6, but that's not the best move, we have best move rook f4 by Magnus, I played knight to f3, I want to sacrifice my knight e5, if you play 1800 elo rated move, for example rook b8, then I will sacrifice my knight by capturing the pawn, if you take the knight, then rook takes check, king takes rook and queen to h5, which will be a checkmate, always look for at least 5 moves depth and king safety if your opponent sacrifice a piece, so, in this position. They played knight back to f8, to target the bishop, I moved by king to d2 because I want to bring my rook on g file, the four grandmasters who is a child in front of me, they played knight to c7 to target this, rook up to h2, I want to double up my rooks, and knight here to target the bishop potentially, queen to h5, or queen d3 to pressuring on the bishop, they strikes the queen side with b5, but that's not the best move. Best was to play e4, we have rook to h1, rook on a7, knight goes to e4, I want to play knight g5 to pressuring on this bishop, if you do nothing and play 1600 move, rook to b7, thinking after pawn takes I will check stockfish, then knight to g5, supported by the other knight, so knight takes e5, rook takes, takes, rook check, king slides, here comes killer move with showing killer attitude to force stupid grandmaster queen to h5, threatening to play rook h8 mate, and there is an another checkmate. How will you protect both of them at the same time? Ha! Huh? So subscribe to my YouTube channel to get better at chess, just like and subscribe, in this position, we have knight takes e6, pawn takes, pawn takes c4, here you can play knight to g5, which is an available move, to pressuring the bishop on h7, but I choose to play king to c1, getting a safe place for the king, then I will attack, so g6, knight goes to g5, we have d5, queen to d1, you cannot take the knight because your queen is pinned, so, they played king to g8, getting rid from this file, f3. This pawn is protected by the knight, and your bishop is in a terrible position, it is more likely to a cage, we have rook b7, queen up to d2, c3, pawn takes, we have c4, knight takes bishop, knight takes h7, knight to c5, 
to target the rook on b7, and I want to play knight here, then queen takes d5, move your pawn to give a check and it will target the queen, so, rook slides to g7, knight on d7, I want to play queen takes pawn, then move the pawn, targeting the king and queen, I am the legend. I am threatening their king and queen, and they can't even give me a check, they played queen to a5, queen on e3, this is the passed pawn, and I am threatening to take the pawn, then knight takes pawn, if you take it, then rook takes, and threatening the rook, your king have a terrible position and so on, we have rook f5, rook slides to b2, knight back to f8, knight takes knight. If you think, you can take the knight with your king, let me show the variation, if king takes knight happen, then rook h8, check, king here, queen check, king takes. Rook check, king slides, check, king here, check, here, check, and there is mate in three moves, game will be over, so, back to the position, they play d4, knight takes pawn, threatening to play rook h8 check, and it will be checkmate, so, rook takes, e7, queen here, queen e4, pawn takes, queen check, king ups, queen check, king here, e8, check, queen takes, queen takes check, king here, check, here, check, backs, ups, g8, rook takes check, backs, rook h8, check and mate, wish you all the best. Thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.